and those are just two of the 51 city council seat races that we saw going off across the city. Just an incredible amount of political drama when it comes to this town. And yes, Justin Brannon was victorious last night over Ari Kagan. Both of them had been incumbents, but because of the redistricting process that happens every 10 years, they ended up facing off. And Kagan, in order to run for the seat against the Democrat here in South Brooklyn, he switched parties to Republican. He left the party after being elected as a Democrat in 20 year, 21 and started adopting more Republican ideals on abortion and crime. The two facing off here in the Bay Ridge District. Justin Brannon saying to to his packed party last night celebrating the win that it was a victory over divide and conquer politics in his neighborhood. It feels great. You know, we, we worked our asses off and, um, and this is the culmination of that. So it feels really good. I can't wait to get back to work tomorrow. Another big and notable race in South Brooklyn happened with Ina Vernikoff, uh, went to her decisively. She was declared the winner after she easily beat back challenges from two other candidates in her district, including Amber Adler. She'd been recently charged with a gun offense after she showed up to a pro-Palestine rally wearing a gun openly on her hip. She was counter-protesting, representing Jewish interests. Vernikoff is a Ukrainian-born Jewish American and said that she had been receiving death threats. I continue to stay vigilant. I am speaking to the NYPD a lot. I have received a lot of threats myself. Uh, my car was vandalized. I have uh, actually received uh, death threats. I There's someone currently in federal prison because they have threatened to rape me and kill me and threatened to kill uh, the children of one of my staffers. Vernikoff is licensed to carry a gun, but it needs to be concealed. She will be back in court in January. On that, that's just the latest on two of the races here in South Brooklyn. I'm Kirsten Cole, PIX11 News. Vanessa and Craig to you.